We've covered a number of lists on this channel about celebrities being banned from various places, from public places to award shows to countries, talk shows, but today we're going to expose some celebrities who pulled some stunts on late night talk shows specifically and got themselves banned. I've compiled a list of celebrities who got booted for various reasons, so let's get to counting down the top 10 celebrities banned from late night talk shows. At number 10, Hugh Grant. You don't really hear too much about Hugh Grant these days, so when I found out that he was banned from somewhere, I was actually pretty shocked. He was banned from The Daily Show after having a really bad interview that affected the show's host. Jon Stewart, the former host of The Daily Show, said in an interview that Hugh Grant was the absolute worst guest he'd ever had on the show. He spoke about how when Hugh was on to promote his film Did You Hear About The Morgans, Hugh was making a huge scene backstage and was really mean and annoying to the people who were working on set. Apparently, Hugh was allegedly going around saying that he had better places to be. He also got really upset about the clip that they played from the film saying, quote, What is that clip? It is a terrible clip. To which John replied telling Hugh to make a better movie. You could really tell that John was fed up with Hugh and his attitude on the show. John went on to say that because of his poor experience with Hugh, he would never have him back on his show. At number 9, Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin is known for being pretty outspoken and controversial at times, and it's because of her antics that she's been banned from just about every talk show. Because of her unpredictable actions, use of crude language, and her problematic past, she isn't welcome on shows like The View, The Today Show, Ellen, Regis and Kelly, Jay Leno, Letterman, and many, many others. She's racked up a lot of these bans over the years, but some new ones like being fired from CNN come from the backlash that she gained after the Donald Trump incident where she posed with a fake bloodied model of Donald Trump's head. She's been known to ruffle people's feathers on live TV and pull stunts that are inappropriate for broadcast. For example, during her time hosting the New Year's Eve special with Anderson Cooper on CNN, she used profanity and even removed some of her clothing on TV. On top of that, she's offended people during award shows while making speeches and making inappropriate comments. Though she's been banned from certain TV shows, I really think that people just want her banned from the media in general because of her actions. Now before I carry on talking about more celebrities banned from late night programs, I would first like to take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far because it really helps the channel out and we appreciate you guys supporting our platform. At number 8, Harmony Corinne. I think it's common knowledge, at least to most people, that when you're a guest somewhere, you should try and be on your best behavior. Most people follow this unspoken rule, but many others don't, especially celebrities as we will see throughout this list. One person who really should have tried to behave themselves is director Harmony Corinne, who's best known for the movie Spring Breakers. There was once a time when Harmony made a number of appearances on The Late Show with David Letterman in the mid to late 90s. This was also during a time when Harmony was reportedly on a lot of drugs. <laughs> Though he was a frequent guest on the show, his appearances just stopped all of a sudden and no one really knew why until 2013 when Letterman revealed the truth as to why the director was banned from coming on the show. Apparently, Letterman caught the director going through Meryl Streep's purse one time and that was just the last straw for the late night host. When talking about this fateful event, Letterman said, quote, I went upstairs to greet Meryl Streep and welcome her to the show. I knocked on the door and she wasn't there. I looked around and found Harmony going through her purse. True story. And so I said, that's it put her things back in her bag, and then get out." End quote. After that, Harmony was no longer welcome on the show and has not been back since. At number 7, Bobcat Goldthwait. I think that this goes without saying, but don't go setting fire to random things. I know Adele said set fire to the rain, but that was just a metaphor. Clearly though, one guest on Jay Leno didn't quite get the memo because they ended up setting a fire during their interview on The Late Night Show. Back in 1994, actor Bobcat Goldthwait was a guest on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and during his guest appearance, the actor decided to randomly set fire to his chair. At the time, Jay thought that this was just a spontaneous bit, but in reality, Bobcat came prepared for this as he brought lighter fluid and a lighter that was hidden up his sleeve. Luckily, the other guest who was there that night, Lauren Hutton, was quick on her feet and doused the flames with a cup of water. Jay, understandably, was very unhappy with all this and banned Bobcat from the show. Not only that, but the actor was also charged with arson for his stunt and was ordered to pay over $3,300 in fines, some of which went towards replacing the chair that he set fire to. Not too sure why he decided to make this interview go up in flames like that, but at least he won't be able to pull that stunt again. At least not with Jay. At number 6, Dax Shepard. Actor and comedian Dax Shepard has been very open about his struggles with substance abuse for some time now. He's opened up about some of the lowest points in his career that was caused by his substance abuse, including one time that got him banned from a late night show. Dax told a story about how he was once preparing to be on Late Night with Conan O'Brien in 2004, but when he was doing the pre-interview, he blacked out. Dax didn't remember any of the pre-interview where he was supposed to go 
over the talking points for the evening, and by the time his real interview started, he was so lost. He went into detail saying, quote, I show up on the show and I don't know what he's talking about. I can tell he's queuing me up for stories I've told, but I don't know any of the stories, end quote. Because of how badly he messed up his interview, he was banned from the show for a few years until he got sober. Years later, he was welcomed back on the show and all was forgiven, but it was still a low point for the actor. At number five, Jay Leno. This next ban was caused by one serious feud between Jay Leno and Conan O'Brien. Because both men were talented late night hosts, there were a lot of pitches from different networks trying to poach one or the other to take over talk shows and whatnot. Well, things got kind of heated when Conan was promised the hosting gig for The Tonight Show when Jay's contract was up. As you would imagine, Jay didn't take the news very well and so he decided to start his own show, The Jay Leno Show, which aired before Conan's. Well, when neither of their shows were bringing in good ratings, the network reshuffled the time slots, gave Conan's slot to Jay, and bumped Conan's show back half an hour. Conan didn't like that, took a payout, and The Tonight Show fell back into Jay's hands. Later on, when asked if he would have Jay on an episode of his show, Conan shut that down, essentially saying that Jay would have been banned from his program. There was just a lot of bitterness between them, and the water under that bridge has certainly dried up. At number four, Gary Busey. A lot of people enjoy their personal space. I know that there are many people who love getting close to others and who are very physical people, but you know, not everybody likes that. Getting upset when someone invades your personal space without permission is pretty understandable, and this notion is what got Gary Busey banned from The Howard Stern Show. Back in 2001, actor Gary Busey was on The Howard Stern Show and seemed to have ignored the notion of personal space, and that rubbed Howard the wrong way. While on the show, the actor picked up Howard's co-host, Robin Quivers, giving him a big bear hug, and even chased Howard around the studio trying to wrestle him. Howard really didn't like what Gary was doing that day, and so he promptly banned him from coming back on the show. When Gary explained the motives behind his actions, he blamed it on his quote, 13 separate personalities. He continued to say that he was just really excitable that day, but that wasn't a good enough excuse to get him back onto the show until 2017, when he was invited to do an audio only interview with Howard. At number three, Howard Stern. But speaking of Howard Stern, he himself has been banned from a late night show. Apparently he and Jay Leno have had beef ever since Howard's 1995 appearance on The Tonight Show. This appearance was pretty chaotic. Howard entered onto the show with two women and bikinis and prompted the women to start kissing each other on air. On top of that, Howard kept speaking over Jay and other guests while on the show as well. Jay was apparently so fed up with Howard and his antics that he nearly walked off set and was so mad about the way that the show turned out that evening that he later called into Howard's show to say that he had quote, gone beyond the acceptable standards. After that, Howard was banned and he and Jay have had beef ever since. At number two, Donald Trump. Now to find out that Donald Trump has been banned from any kind of talk show really isn't all that surprising. So many hosts from various shows have banned the former president, but this next ban is a little juicier because it kind of involves some beef between the Donald and late night host Seth Meyers. In 2016, the late night talk show host issued a ban against Donald Trump in retaliation for Trump having revoked Seth's Washington Post credentials. Though it was an official ban, it was also done as a joke since Seth already knew that Donald would never be on a show anyway, but it was about the principle. In a joke statement to Donald, Seth said, quote, We instituted this ban despite the fact that he's never been here or asked to be here or would never be caught dead here. I just think that it takes an amazing amount of courage on our part. So the ball is in your court, Donald. Either rescind your Washington Post ban or you're not allowed to appear on the show you have no interest in appearing on. Although maybe now that you can't have it, you're changing your mind. End quote. And finally, at number one, Oprah Winfrey. This last ban seems to have been more so self-imposed. After making an appearance on David Letterman's show in 1989, Oprah Winfrey issued a self-imposed ban refusing to go back on Letterman's show. After what she experienced on the show, Oprah and Letterman seem to have had some kind of feud going on, though it was more low-key than others. As for what happened to cause this self-imposed ban, well, Oprah finally opened up about the event that caused this back in 2013, saying, quote, It was a terrible experience for me. The guy in the audience started yelling, get her Dave. You were sort of baiting the audience and there were a bunch of drunk guys down the front. I was trying to mitigate the whole thing. It felt so uncomfortable for me. I didn't want to have that experience again. End quote. Basically, she was just really uncomfortable on the show and wanted to forget about the event, hence her minor beef with the late night host, and she just didn't want a repeat of that unpleasant experience. Now before I wrap things up today, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me if there was any late night or regular talk show that you would love to be on, which would it be and why? There are so many to choose from, so let me know which one you would choose down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host, B-Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends.